Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'm covering six herbs you can grow from a cutting. So let's get started. Six herbs I'm going to cover are number one, basil. Basil is one of the most used herbs. Number two, mint. Mint is great for drinks such as lemonade and tea. Number three, rosemary. Rosemary is a very hardy herb and grows well in most climates. Number four, oregano. Oregano has medicinal properties and also has a very strong flavor, so use very carefully in cooking. Number five, sage. Sage is frost tolerant and survives winter well. Number six, thyme. Thyme is also frost tolerant and grows like a perennial in most climates. Now let's cover propagating each one of these herbs from cutting. To grow basil from a cutting, simply remove all the lower leaves. Place the basil cutting in water. If your water is heavily chlorinated, use filtered water for all cuttings. After two weeks, the basil cutting will develop roots. Transfer the newly rooted basil cutting to a pot or plant in your garden. The process is same for mint. Remove the lower leaves and make sure any cutting of stem you use does not have flowers or seeds. After placing the mint stem in water, the stem will develop roots. Simply plant the rooted cutting in pot or your garden. Mint grows like a weed, so be careful when planting mint in your garden. Only plant mint in a confined area such as a raised bed. Up close, the mint leaves look really healthy. Rosemary will grow from a cutting as well. When choosing a stem, make sure the stem is not woody. The stem must have green color. Remove all the lower leaves. Place the cutting of rosemary stem in water. Place all the cuttings next to a window that receives sun. Rosemary leaves might look like needles, but upon closer inspection, they are in fact leaves. Even in water, the stem will start to grow new leaves. After the rosemary cutting develop roots, simply plant in pots or in your garden. Oregano also roots very easily in water. However, it does take a little longer for oregano to develop roots. Like earlier, simply remove lower leaves. The stem should have only two to three sets of leaves. Cut the bottom part of the stem at 45 degree angle and place the stem in water. Oregano develops roots in about four weeks. Simply plant the newly rooted cutting in parts of your choice. Sage takes time to develop roots as well. Sage leaves have a little hook at the end to prevent water loss. Sage and rosemary are drought tolerant herbs. They do not require a lot of water. After removing lower leaves, cut the sage at 45 degree angle as well. Sage also takes about a month to grow roots. Simply plant the newly rooted cutting in parts of your choice. While selecting a stem for thyme, avoid overly brown stems. Choose a stem that is greener in color. Remove all the lower leaves and cut the stem at 45 degree angle, removing the brown part of the stem completely. Place the stem in water. When the stem develop roots, plant the newly rooted stem in the part of your choice as well. Few herbs that don't grow well from a cutting or don't grow at all from cutting is cilantro, dill, and parsley. I made a video on how to grow cilantro and dill from seed. So check that video out if you're interested and I'll see you in another video.